What's up? I'm Elsa Ray. There's no right or wrong way to do any of this, so absorb this information as you like. You saw the title, you know what this is about, so let's get into it. The three main tools you'll need when starting out is paint, brushes, and sponges. Most importantly is paint. Even though you're just starting out, you don't ever want to use the cream face paints that are sold in Halloween stores. They suck. A great all-purpose paint that you can buy at Michael's is Snazaroo. It's about $9 a round, but this thing is gonna last you like three months if you use it on a regular basis. If you're on a budget but you want to try more colors, spend an extra $5 and you can get the Snazaroo paint palette full of all kinds of different colors and you can try out a lot of different looks with that. If you want to learn more about different types of paints and paints that I like and recommend, click this link. I made a whole entire video on it. Next thing is brushes. If you don't have any experience painting, a high quality brush is not going to make you an immediate all-star. Use what you have or what you can afford and start messing around with the paint. Just play with it. Try out using a little bit of water, a lot of water, and see what different consistencies you can make, what different looks you can make. If you are wanting to look into some higher quality brushes, I would recommend Low Cornell. These brushes are really dense with a lot of bristles, so it allows you to one, keep the thing forever, and two, it holds a lot of paint. These are three brushes that I would recommend. They're dirty because I just got done using them. A one inch or a three quarter inch brush, an ultra round, this is a size six, and a super, super thin brush. These three you can make all sorts of different looks and then you can grow from there. And let's not forget about sponges. Sponges are bomb for all over paint. And just like the brush situation, once you know your paint, you'll be able to use your sponges for blending or for textures, for stencils, all sorts of things. The best types of sponges to have for face paint are super dense, super porous sponges. They have to be able to hold a lot of paint and they also have to hold up between all of the millions of washes that you're gonna do. I know this is all pretty basic, but you've got to start somewhere. If you enjoy informational videos like this one, give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.